this scenario, with our base prep, we've incorporated the drive grid. I left it open for a purpose. We want to show where it is in that sweet spot that they talked about earlier in the video. That six to eight inches from the bottom of your pavers is the sweet spot for the drive grid. So we've got an area here. We took it up about seven inches in the beginning, filled this raised patio with just three quarter inch clean stone. We're not using processed gravel. Again, another time saver. Drive grid is nice and easy to install. How many people here have used drive grid? How many people here love drive grid? I'm a huge fan, I love it. And this is only one of the applications, which I'm gonna to get to in a little bit. So we're gonna roll our drive grid in. It comes in a 13 foot roll, 120 feet long. And I start it over there, I roll it down, cut it, it's all set. You don't have to stake it, you don't have to go nuts with making it smooth. Now you're backfilling on top of it with your three quarter inch stone again, and you compact. And just like was explained before, that three quarter inch compacts a lot quicker when it's on top of here. I've got probably a half a dozen instances where I've been on job sites and seen it. Even just driving over it with truck tires, compacting it. It's, it's an awesome, awesome product.